In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a handful of things that we think will enhance your overall experience with the cameras on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. If you're new to the 7 Pro and or want to get the most out of this specific camera setup, here are some tips for you. We highly recommend using the 2x zoom a lot more if you're not already. Now the reason behind this is this will give your shots that pro photographer look with a different focal length equivalent compared to the default more wide angle 25mm focal length. What's great about this is you're still getting a 12 megapixel shot out of this so you're not really losing anything detail wise. You're just getting a really simple method to get better looking portraits. Super Res Zoom is actually usable. With all of its smarts, Google combines images from all of the cameras to give you the best picture possible at anything over 5x zoom. At 10x zoom, Google says you can get results comparable to what you'd get from a device with 10x optical zoom. And at 30x, well, while these don't present the greatest results, you can still get something usable, and it definitely beats cropping down the image, that's for sure. Here's something I highly recommend, disabling auto macro mode. Now, of course, you can keep this set to automatic if you'd like, but personally, I always found it a little annoying to have to set it to auto, and I still get the prompt to enable it if I need it. Now, since we're here, the macro mode itself actually works well, and it's a good way to get more up close and detailed shots. Definitely try it out. Photo Unblur was a new feature that came with the Pixel 7. You'll find this in Google Photos and this feature uses machine learning to help you unblur any photo taken by any device from any period of time. This is also where you'll find other great functions like Magic Eraser, which helps you erase unwanted people and elements from your photos, Portrait Blur, which lets you add portrait mode effects to any photo, and you can also export frames from videos as separate pictures. Google makes it super easy to set up a secure folder where you can save pictures you'll end up taking that you don't want in the cloud or anywhere else. Pictures that can't be edited or screenshotted, photos that are locked behind biometric authentication, photos that are for your eyes and your eyes only. While it still needs a good amount of work, if used right, cinematic blur for video can actually be pretty impressive. It's nice to see this feature being added, and it's worth checking out as it's basically portrait mode for video. Alright, now this last tip is actually a number of small ones wrapped up in one, most of which count for not just the Pixel 7 Pro, but for other Pixel models as well. This is rapid fire style, get ready, here we go. Add grid lines. These are here to help you compose your frame. If you care about the positioning of certain elements, you're going to want to use these because they give you a better idea of how to line up and arrange your photos before taking them. Enable RAW plus JPEG control. This will give you the ability to shoot in RAW format. Now these shots aren't processed nearly as much and they give you way more room to work with when it comes to editing. Keep in mind though that doing this will take up more storage space on your phone. To help save storage space, go to device storage in the settings and enable storage saver. This is great if you want to keep things optimized. You can also turn on a function that will actually automatically disable storage saver whenever the phone has at least one gigabyte of space left. Tapping a subject enables tracking. It's useful if you and or the subject is moving and you want to keep focus locked on that subject. You can also lock focus entirely by performing a long press. And since we're tapping the display so much, when you do that initially, you'll see these sliders. Take advantage of them because they give you the ability to control exposure, shadows, and temperature before snapping the photo. Right after you take a picture, a little menu will pop up on the bottom right. This allows you to share the shot directly to three social media apps and you can choose what apps will show up, which is nice. You can also access this menu in the settings and social share. When using the front facing camera, a couple of things to note are that you can enable and adjust face retouching, which automatically tunes skin texture under eye tone and eye brightness. And for video recordings, there's a setting for selfie illumination to give you some extra light. Pretty common Android feature, double pressing the power button opens up the camera. And other pixel goodness includes doing one of these to swap between the front and back cameras. There's also double tapping to zoom, pressing and dragging on the zoom buttons to zoom in smaller increments, holding the shutter key to record a video, dragging up to zoom and dragging left to go hands free, and using the volume buttons to do different things like act as a shutter key, to zoom in, or to act as normal volume buttons. So those are just a few tips and tricks we thought could enhance your camera experience with the Pixel 7 Pro and other Pixels. Hope you enjoyed. It's been Zach, and thanks for watching.